what would happen to the people of Bid'a? Will they get shifa, uh, shafa'a? The people of Bid'a are of different levels, of course, as we know. You know, and the same thing, some people, they're, they're, they're committing Bid'a, but they're not from the people of Bid'a because they did know better. The message did reach them. Nobody advised, they thought that this is part of the deen of Islam. That's why you have to differentiate between the people of al bid of al bidah versus someone is committing bidah or innovations in the deen. Ahlul bidah and, and also the different levels of bidah, some bidah with matters of aqidah, like the different sects and so on. And some of them are within the fold of al Islam, and some of them will outside the fold of al Islam. So it depends on what the level of the bid'ah is. And as long as there are Muslims, you know, uh, as we heard in the hadith, the shafa'ah would uh, affect everyone. Some of them will be in the hawfayr and the shafa'ah would benefit them after they are admitted into the hawfayr. Some people would not enter the hawfayr as a result of the shafa'ah by the intercession. Some people, the shafa'ah of one of the types of the shafa'ah of the Prophet Sallallahu for those who deserve to be in the hawfayr, but the shafa of the Prophet ﷺ will be granted for them by the permission of Allah and they won't enter the hellfire. And some will enter the hellfire and then come out by the shafa of the Prophet ﷺ. So it depends on the level. If a person dies in the state of disbelief, then there's no shafa. If a person dies in the state of Islam, either they are punished and the shafa can benefit them or they're not punished by the will of Allah and he decrees for the shafa to benefit them even if they uh, were in, in some form of innovations in the deen, in the deen as long as they die in the state of Islam.